everything to satisfy a man, I did. I'm born in a Christian home. He was a Muslim. I converted. When it was issue of you don't have a male child, I had to. Um, everything. I had to, you know, learn how to cook some things that only I won't even eat, but I just want to satisfy it, man. I will take some shit where some small girls in the family will call you, they will finish eating and they will gather the plate for you to wash. As a woman that have, a CEO that I have, like, 20 something staffs, I still wash dishes for some girls that are not even up to my cleaner. But it was called tradition. I go to family things when you want to call Kitra, they say, no, as a wife, you must do this, you must do that. Is what I won't take on normal, on norms. I take them just to satisfy a man at the long run. Big love, when you said that in that day, that if you're not happy, just you can't buy happiness. You can't, ah, that day, I'm like, okay. When I saw this other woman, I couldn't fight because the worst has happened. What I've been fearing for, what I have taken shit from now happened. So why am I waiting? When I said, okay, I wanted to move because I can't stay with another woman. That's the, you know, that's the peak of it. He told me, you are free to leave. You know, after six kids, after suffering for the business, the factory is just behind my home. And I was like, okay, maybe he's joking. Maybe if I want to leave, he will let me, he will now beg me. He did not. I left the home, but one beautiful thing was that he told me, if you're going to leave, you're living with your kids. That day was like a blessed day for me because the, the fear was, will I leave my kids? I moved to with six kids without no destination. We run a joint account, but I moved to Ekpe. He was in Abuja, and I started off with my kids. All I had was the gold I had, no cash, because as I was living, I was still thinking, okay, they, they, I can still withdraw, only for me to get to a pair, I couldn't make any withdrawal. Instructions was that I should not spend for a part of the money. The only account I had then, I think, was um, one of those um, OPE that I just put some small cash, you know. To cut the long story short, my jewelry were the only thing I had with myself. But I could say to you now that I started with my blender, my juice extractor, and I'm back to my feet. And I'm saying this for every young lady there, even all those people dragging another woman, I, I still stand my feet. I would never, I would never drag another woman because she did not have what it takes to take my man. It was my man that needed another one, even after all I had done. So there is nothing anybody can do to keep a man that wants to be taken. Nothing. I did everything. So there is virtually nothing you could do to keep a man that wants to be taken. Exactly. And a man that is ready to be taken can even take a shit just because he wanted to be taken. So I'm just saying this for every young lady out there that thinks, okay, it's the end of the world, or if I leave the man, where would I start from? I actually start my 18-year-old first daughter now is in Unilag, she's studying law. The second one is also in Unilag, studying accounting. Single-handedly, wow. because he thought, if I am left alone with those kids, where will I start from? But it's something I had, which he did not remember, that I had the same brain I used to build his businesses. That same brain is with me, and no one can take that away from me. That's a beautiful thing. He has educated me, and that is what I am still eating up to tomorrow. And if I share my son's 14-year-old uh, work result with you on this timeline as a science student, if I share that re report card with you, you will be amazed. You will be amazed. So I invested in my kids, invested in myself. And I'm thanking this space because you guys said it out of cruise that day. I took those words. I held on to them. And today I'm here saying that Every word you say sometimes out of cruise is touching someone's life, someone's story. And I want to say a special thank you to Big Love. Sometimes you stress some topic, not knowing that you are healing some, some of us that needed those words that time. I just want to thank this space for doing that for me. So coming back this night, I'm like, okay. It started again. I just hope someone could be touched. That's all I have to share with you. 
Hello, please, you. Queen Diva, Thank follow you. me back. Please, Queen Diva, follow me back. I just followed you. Thank you. Thank you. I will. That's it. Thank you so much. Hmm. Yeah, All right, how can we go cool. from crying to cruise then? So, I don't even know. I'm telling you, at this point in time, I don't know what we'll say next. <laughs> Big no, video, please. You made a diva. Guys, what? No, darling is good for this type of thing. <laughs> Who is darling? Let her go ask us a question. <laughs> somebody, Big somebody love. have a question, please. All right, all right, all right. Okay. All right, good good evening, everybody. Um, I believe this space is not just for cruise, but also to learn. Um, I have a, a question for the Queen Diva. I don't, um, I hope she doesn't mind. Okay, go ahead, please. Go ahead, please. Maybe her network is Hello? Maybe, her, maybe her network is bad because I'm not hearing Jackie, her. are you speaking? We can't hear you. Please go and come back, Jackie. Because we can't I, hear you. I can hear you, please. Go ahead. Okay. It's her network. Jackie? Yeah, Who's talking? Okay, uh, no original ones, you can go. Jackie, please go and come back. We can't hear you for your question. I don't know, maybe it's a need to... Hello, Jackie. No, I just... Hello. Hello, guys. Hello. Can you hear me, please? Yeah, yeah we can hear you. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I'm kind of emotional with this, like, the story, me, so I don't the journey, the one. I don't even know what to say anymore, but I'm just emotional. I'm just happy as a lady that you can break through all those, you know, all those challenges that you went through. You were able to fight it all. Um, I'm happy that you have that courage, the wisdom. You are able to fight. You are a fighter. I appreciate you. I appreciate you for sharing this. It's so deeply emotional to me because I'm very, very sensitive when it comes to female, like female in general, what female goes through, especially in the issue of, you know, marital affairs. That's why I'm always preaching. preaching. We woman has to be like empowered. What I mean by empowered is, you know, try to like have some strength in us that we can fight, we can fight the world, we can do this. I'm so happy that you are able to conquer. I'm happy that you are able to even do it on your own. It is not easy. Um, just the question I would like to ask you was that, what do you feel you might have done differently? Um, I mean, when you are in the marriage, what do you feel you might have done differently that you are not doing now? Because from the story I learned from you, I just felt that, and that's what I take even personally to myself. Um, I think about myself first before we, like what I mean is me as an individual, I have my own goals and objective. And the man oh. as a person or as a, uh, how will I say, as a partner, we can coexist because what I can see from the experience that you have shared is that most of his dreams, you live his own dream, in which in a, in, a, in a situation where you might even have your own, like you said, you can do all these things. You know, you are managing this, managing, you can be able to do it on your own, but it's just that you are living someone else's dream. I see that most women, especially in marriages, we tend to, like, when we are married, focus on what the man wants, focus on what the man wants to achieve, if you understand. Not yeah, also I'm focusing I'm on I'm ourselves. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And uh, I think one of the things is the story of, um, I, 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 though I don't like trolling, though, but it's not actually true, is why I would uh, say congratulations to Beauty. Because when... 
sometimes the handwriting might be there and you're like, if I leave, what will people say? What will the internet say? It would eventually happen. So when you see that dot, it will just, it's just a small dot. It doesn't have to be so big. That small dot can just be, it might just be a sign. I saw it, but I just want to, I don't want to be a bad person. You know, somebody sponsoring you from on the question of um, what would I have done differently, my sister actually did everything a woman would do. Do you know what it means to have a Christian background? The other religion to join is Islam. Do you know that? It's easy for you to start church tomorrow and you just blend. It's easy for you to go into other religion tomorrow and you but Islam, you have to know what to recite, what you, the kind of things you say when you're performing ammunition, when you're bending, when you, the rules, the way they talk, what you don't do as an Islam, Islamic woman and all of that. For a woman to go through all of that, you know, I brought in an Afa home to teach me how to see all of these things I had to go through, say those Arabic words. For a man purpose, you should know what the level of commitment, you know. I've done that, you know, even as busy as I am, a CEO, I have over 20 something staff, I will still come back home. No other person prepare his meal except me. He doesn't give room for that. So, what level of sacrifice could be more than that? You need to see how the sisters, you know, when I travel, like go to Niger, Kogi states, look for farm products that maybe I got a work to export um, farm products. I travel even to Lagos and I must come back that same day. Sometimes I spend three days though. Mm-hmm. And you come back and you hear your sister-in-law even saying that your children, what can be as awful as you just give birth and somebody just look at the baby and say, does this baby really look like us? A day old baby, I've gone through such. And so there's nothing I would have done differently. And I swallowed all of that because I wanted it to work. And let me remind you, I'm, I am from a polygamous home that I don't want to go back there. I don't want them to shame me because out of all my dad's girls, I happen to be the only one that was married legally, that did marriage, that did not fall out pregnancies, fall out of school, all of that. You know what it means to now go back home after all those your ceremony? I was afraid of fear even when I was not happy. So I did everything I could. I don't think I would have done anything differently. But I thought one thing I would have done is I would have left earlier before then. But thank God I stumbled into this place and I was able to like, okay. And that's one thing I want to say to every woman. Put yourself in a network of women, a network of strong people, Learn from joint network. I belong to so many agri business group, export women group. But you know, when you are with somebody that is just like, sometimes you don't associate because of that. But I can associate on my phone. If if the association has to do with the phone, I won't travel. I will join. So one of the beautiful things that helped me was that I was able to associate myself because it's hard if you shut out yourself from social media when you're not happy so uh, i think i've been able to answer your question okay so sorry, thank you, you. I I I sorry sorry what please, you are trying to say wait no, uh, so far, please sorry, sorry. Let let me, please now let somebody else talk now yeah i'm not I, 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 not I, I, you are trying to elaborate what i'm trying yeah, to say but i just I want to clarify it what I'm trying to say, yeah, you are right. You, you are saying that what you are able to do, do differently in terms of marriage, but I mean yeah, in terms of yourself. Yeah. In terms of yourself, yeah, like, like yourself. Wait, so maybe, maybe you would have taste more, maybe you would have done something personal, like you keep your money, your personal money and stuff, so that way you leave, you don't go into the same uh, issue. That's, what that's, the that's the essence of, that's one of the essence why I said, okay, let me share this. Initially, even before, you didn't know what it means for a young girl to not enjoy after school life, spend your own money, get a job. I never worked for anybody with any of my certificates. All those I missed because if I had to turn back the ends of time, I would have put in my career first, explore. That's one of the things I would I did not explore at all. I didn't take my time to explore. So I did not explore at all, at all. I would have explored, 
during being explored, I would have known, I would have found out that what I was going into wouldn't work. You don't marry out of sympathy. I would have explored. I did not explore. All my holidays, after school, the next thing is I, I'm, I'm, I'm to his place. I'm back to his, you know, I'm back to his place. After all the day, his place. After, so I did not explore. It's one thing a young girl should try and do. Just explore. Explore first. I did not explore. Secondly, I did it out of pity. Deep down inside me, I knew. You know when you feel sparking love? I didn't feel that. But I just wanted to, like, it was like a trade by butter. I wanted to trade what he has done to be his wife, even when I saw the age gap, I saw the religious bar uh, barrier, I saw the language barrier, uh, I just like, okay, let me just, out of pity. So those are two key things that I think led me into that. You know, so I would, and I would teach that to my girls and to every girl that I care to listen. 